I've said it before and I will say it again. This is the future of the Schmodown and now the ultimate Schmodown is right in our sights, ladies. That means it doesn't matter which team you bring up. DC Movie News, The Lion's Den, Team Action. It doesn't matter. Do you see people can be eliminated like that? And your <laughs> winner, ladies and gentlemen, Mike the Killer. The answer was Q. The answer was Q. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's a present. Present? Batman has a present, a parting gift. A parting gift. gift. Parting gift. That's nice. That's nice. Wow. But I'm sorry. I'm not not opening it. She's not opening it. Oh, she throws it. That's all right. I got pudding for everybody. (laughs) (laughs) And you get some pudding. Wow. All right. But I'm going into the ultimate show and I'm going in. I got my spot now. I'm ready to go. I'm going to be a triple threat. My team, Adam Gertler, Roxy, Johnny. Yeah, DC, DC Movie News is going to be Within, what is it, in a couple weeks, we've made a name for ourselves. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. nothing to be sorry about. See, the fact of the matter is this. They've been trying to keep Brienne down from day one in this league. Um, I just have something to say. You know, they say, oh, Kalinowski is like a favorite in this league now. And that's because you're shoving him down our fucking throats. No shit, he's a favorite. I'm Christian Harlow. I am Mark Ellis, and Christian, God, there is nothing like playoff season. Maybe Thanksgiving dinner, but that's about as good as we get because this cornucopia of cinematic knowledge is packed. The teams keep coming. They, you've got to win four. You have to win four big matches what? in order to play the Patriots for the championship. Too many! At the Spectacular, but everyone is hungry. When we started this league back in 2014, there were no teams. No! And even when we started the team league, it was a little rough, but now the teams are so stacked. And tonight, you've got two teams that not only are they some of the toughest teams in the league, they do not like one another. That's right. Six degrees. I mean, look, the performances and their intros have only been half the story. The other half, how many points they are able to put up in matches. They've been a very impressive team of late. And then you have Mike the Killer Kalinowski and Adam Gertler, the Sausage King of Burbank, (laughs) teaming up. Will comic book movies be a factor? I'm betting yes. Well, we're going to find out because, listen, if you guys have been following, you've been seeing that the progression of Brianne Chandler, Miss Movies, of the way you see that first character that came out here, the, she's smiling, there, there she is in the cheerleading outfit, and then she just flipped like that. And now I feel that Mike Kalinowski is taking her further down that hole because every single time you bring up Kalinowski, you can get an outburst out of Brianne Chandler. Mm-hmm. She likes to taunt him. She likes to yell at him. Uh, Stacey Howard is now getting involved in that. And now you have Jay Washington, who has just been this monumental mouthpiece. This is a team that is looking to make a statement. But look at Michael Kalinowski and what he's been able to do over the last uh, couple of weeks uh, alone, just be- making a, himself a triple threat in this league. That's right. I mean, Kalinowski, the big question with him is what is his costume going to be and how sweaty will he get during the match? Right. That could be a factor. And then Adam Gertler, more of the unknown right now. We're not sure how well-rounded well, Adam Gertler up, is. He showed up in that match against Cinema Blend. He had a rough first round, but he came back strong in the second and the third. So if you get – this is Adam Gertler, who uh, has been around for a long time, knows a lot about uh, 90 movies. years old. 95 years old, actually. But we're going to see what he can do. He might be a silent assassin, but not in the game. And they did not mince words when it came to talking about one another. Here we go. Guys, you know who I am. It's Mike the Killer Kalinowski with Adam, the silent assassin Gertler. Adam, how you doing today? That's what I thought. Excellent, excellent. Here we are. We're ready to take it. This is the start, right? We're gonna. We're here to start it. 
We're going to take care of the competition. You got that right. Absolutely, my friend. Six Degrees is in the Ultimate Showdown Team Tournament, and was there any speculation as they wouldn't be here? This is the future of the league, and now they have to go up against DC Movie News. Why? Because one still doesn't know Puddin', and he doesn't know about an angel in the morning. We got a couple of villains that are trying to get into the showdown. Brian Chandler, Stacey Howard, all these ladies, that, uh, Jay Washington with a mouth on him, breaking into people's interviews, true villains like this. You know, it's done. It stops right here. This is They're going to get into it, and they're going to be out right away. They can go to the singles. They can try their luck at that. But for this team, matches, we're taking it right now. We're getting them out of the way right away. This is just a stepping stone, ladies, for you two to send your way to greatness, and it will be glorious. Do I think people underestimate DC movie news? You know what? We had a very good showing, strong showing on our first match. What did you think about our first match? My thoughts exactly. So, but coming to this, people are kind of, they're confused. Like, DC movie news, these guys are the heroes, and Superman, it's Batman. Guess what, guys? That everyone likes to complain about. Superman has killed. Batman has killed. When it comes to villains that need to be destroyed, the League will kill. So we bring out the killer and the silent assassin here today to do some damage. Stacy is doing what's best to represent the two of them idiots, which are... Suckers. So, when this is said and done, Michael... Michael. Let's Kalinowski. Call his full name. Michael, Michael Kalinowski. Kalinowski. I mean, he's the only one in this competition. I face him every single Does time. He beat you as a fluke. Oh my God. As a fluke. Michael Kalinowski and Adam Gerter, after this is done, you will be dismissed. And it will be glorious. Six Degrees, the league has a message for you. Today, it's over. Brian, you tried your luck against me. You tried to use pudding as your little thing against me that you had nothing to do with. I made you eat that pudding. Well, this for you ladies, it's the end of the line. You're done. Can you dig it, dig it sucker? Dig it, sucker. <laughs>
Introducing first, representing the Popcorn Talk Network, with a record of one win, no defeats, the silent assassin, Adam Gertler and Mike the Killer Kalinowski. Here they come. Team DC Movie News. Also representing the league. Gertler, look at the long side, yeah. the full dress. Loves and uh, the dance. It's, it's Gertler actually upstaging Kalinowski in the costume department. Who's going to upstage who in the movie trivia well, that department? Seems to be, that's his normal getup at this point now. Kalinowski not coming out with the suit. He just has the shirt. Just wet I Batman t-shirt. I think he leaves it for a singles match. I think it's really hot in Burbank. I see costumes. For true competitors. Oh, oh a dig here. Maybe an unnecessary dig. I, I think Six Degrees has really gotten under the uh, skin of Mike Kalinowski. That's right. Mm. And their opponents. Representing the Misfits. With a record of two wins. Two defeats. They are Miss Movies. Brianne Chandler and Sassy. Stacy Howard, Team Six Degrees. Quietness. Wait, there's Jay Washington. No, he's, oh, he's gonna. Uh, oh, what's oh, those pictures of? What oh, handsome nice. faces? Oh wait, yeah. oh, wait a minute. Boom Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Is this hey, Little American Psycho? Oh, oh, I, I see, see what we what got here. here. Oh God. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. Be careful with the. Oh, no. Beating the crap out that of it. Looks, that looks That painful. was very, very violent. Nice. Oh, oh, they're spraying you for that. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, no. Oh, they have uh, some blood on their face. Oh, wow. Very, uh, vicious. They, I see. I see. Very uh, elaborate yeah. intro for sure. I enjoyed that. And I believe that Miss Movie's pants are made from the same material as Gertler's jacket. Maybe they should team up. Nice. All right. Here we go, guys. Oh. So round number one is going to work like this. The competitors will get eight questions. They will write the answers on the board. Make sure that you keep the board towards the camera. Keep it up for a little bit there and also say it at the same time. You have 15 seconds to answer. Again, one point apiece. Don't forget about the JTE rule, meaning you have three times during the match that you can ask to repeat the question. You also have the challenge rule. If you don't like a way a particular question went, you can challenge it. If it gets overturned, you keep your challenge. If not, you will lose your challenge. All right, DC Movie News, are you ready? We are ready. You're ready. All right, Six Degrees, are you ready? We're ready. <laughs> then oh, let's get ready Woo! to schmoot out! Yeah. Yeah. All right, here Christian, we... you could cut the tension in this room with a fat baby's arm. All right, here we go. Here we go. Question number one, category of animated. What 1996 Disney movies involves a cathedral, gargoyles, and gypsies? Gypsy. Gypsy. I know it's gypsy. And that's gypsy. Yeah, is, that, is that your gypsy impression? Oh, it's from Borat. Ah, oh, oh, that's good. Uh, I like it. My wife. Nobody ever did Borat impression, right? <laughs> no, no. You're the first one. My wife. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. All right, Stacey Howard. Hunchback of Notre Dame? That is correct. Right. Adam? The Hunchback of Notre Dame. That is correct. Brienne. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. That, that's correct. And Mike Kalinowski. Hunchback of Notre Dame. There you go. All right. So 2-2 two, two there that's as right. we get into the next question. Two doms and two dames. Here we go with doing? question number two in the world of comedies. Name the classic comedy that has the final line, but you don't understand, Osgood. I'm a man. Well, nobody's perfect. Would you think you're perfect? Yeah, yeah, I'd say pretty much across the these eyebrows, this voice, yeah. this chest there. A main room Saturday night at ain't, 10 p.m. Ain't nothing wrong with this That's face. That's right, baby. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Adam Gertler. Uh, trading places. That is incorrect. Grand Chandler. Caddyshack. Incorrect. Mike Kalinowski. <laughs> Some like it hot. That's correct. Whoa! Oh! Stacey Howard. Wow. I also guessed Caddyshack. Mike <laughs> Kalinowski <laughs> with a okay. super okay. guess. Oh, That's team. right. <laughs> Mike Kalinowski, super guess, and he got it. Mike right. Kalinowski, ice. Here we go. Next. Outlaw, thank you for that one. Next, what did Outlaw give you? Yellow he give had that answer. whole debate online about classics and what was and what wasn't for comedies. And there you go. Fun fact, John Roke actually auditioned for Jack Lemmon's part in Sun right. Like It Hot. <laughs> next category in the category of dramas. Category of dramas. What 90s film 
features wrongfully accused convict Andy Dufresne. What was his name? Andy Dufresne. Say it again, wrong. I'm trying to get the <laughs> You want to... You want to start having I'll ejection wait. seats up there? Maybe. It, we should have an ejection seat. It would be a nice one. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Brianne? The Shawshank Redemption? Correct. Mike? Shawshank Redemption. Correct. Stacy. I crawled through 500 yards of shit to get this answer. Shawshank Redemption. All right. Adam Gertler. Fugitive. Wow. Oh, yeah. Adam Gertler missed that one. That's a big miss. That is a big that miss there. A... Four, four. All right, right, next one. one. Next one. We move on to Oscar movies. These are movies that created some buzz during Oscar season, and your question is thus. What famous musician plays Sebastian's rival and eventual bandmate Keith in La La Land? Scott Mance just woke up from whatever sleep he was in. <laughs> Remember that movie won the Oscar for about four seconds? Yeah, it's true. It was all staged, Christian. Yeah. All no, staged. Idiocy. It was all a hoax. Four, three, Two, one, Mike Kalinowski. John Legend? Correct. Stacey Howard. John Legend. Correct. Adam. John Legend. Correct. And Brianne? John Legend. There you go. What a oh, game here man. we got. 6-6 six, six as we get to the next question. Mm. All right, here we go. Action Adventure. White House Down and Olympus Has Fallen were released in the same year. Which one hit the theaters first? I like one of those movies a lot. Did not care for the other one. I am going to Did not care for the other one. Agree. Yeah, yeah. You know Five. they're making another sequel to Olympus Has Fallen. No one needs that. Four, three, two, one. Stacey Howard. Olympus Has Fallen? Correct. Adam. Olympus Has Fallen. Correct. Brianne? I chose White House Down. All right. And Olympus Mike. Has Fallen. Oh, and DC now takes the lead here. Eight, okay. seven. Your next question comes from the world of comic book movies. What classic what? Western movie? Do Charles Xavier and X-23 watch together in the film Logan? We need the name of the classic Western. Hmm. This is a good film. What, the classic Western or Logan? Oh, we'll talk about it later. Five, four, three, two, one. Adam. Come back, Shane. Which yes, sir. Shane is yes, correct. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Brienne. I put High Plains Drifter. Uh, Mike Kalinowski. Shane. That's correct. Wow. And I put Unforgiven. Wow. DC <laughs> movie news. It was a tight race. DC movie I mean, news starting to take a little bit of a lead I could have these here. Martin Chops if I didn't get that wow. one right. Like, oh, you, Wait, right. how many DC. of their strengths are categories in this round? It's now up to 10. Where are our strength okay. categories in this round? round? Here we go. <laughs> Fantasy sci-fi is the next category. Gary Sinise, Don Cheadle, Tim Robbins, and Connie Nielsen are astronauts exploring the mysteries of our solar system in what 2000s sci-fi film? Mike Kalinowski picked that up and slammed it down. Mm -hmm. the yeah. Authority. They're very, very upset about it. Yeah. Or very calm. Kalinowski's on fire in this round. Five, four, three, two. One pens down. Brian. Sunshine. It's incorrect, Mike. <laughs> Mission to Mars. Correct. Stacy. I also said sunshine. And Adam. <laughs> Solar. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> your last category comes from rom coms. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to make that assumption is just wrong. Your question is thus Who co starred as the friend slash love interest of Mila Kunis in 2011's Friends with Benefits? You know why we don't have more musicals in round one? <laughs> I should see your because lip nobody doing. cares. <laughs> see your lip doing that thing. <laughs> I care. Five, four, three, two, one. Kalinowski. It's gonna be me, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Stacey Howard. Justin Timberlake. Uh, Adam. JT. And Brianne. Justin Timberlake. That oh, is correct. 13-9. Right. However, Mike Kalinowski has scored a perfect round here. If Mike Kalinowski can hit this, he, enjoy, he joins that elite club here, apparently. That nice. is right. And uh, Kalinowski, you have a bonus question. Oh, that, is that is only for you. Just for you. It is not for Six Degrees nor the Sausage King of Burbank. And your question comes from the world of dramas. And it is thus. What 2003 legal thriller based on a John Grisham novel Stars John Cusack and Gene Hackman. You can just say it. You can just say it. The Runaway Jury. We can accept that the Runaway correct. Jury. That is correct. Runaway Jury. Wow. Mike Kalinowski wow. hitting. Jury. Joining wow. now. Joining the club. That is five. There are five fire. people that have done that. Mike Kalinowski is on fire. Determined here. 
14-9. What a round by Kalinowski. That's right. Nine out of his 14 points. None of DC Movie News' there. points count because none of the questions were from musicals. Thus, we have to play <laughs> round one all over again. All right, here we go. Um, now we're going to get into round number two, and it just works like this, Mark. How? In round number two, each team is going to spin that wheel. Each slice on the wheel corresponds to six questions from a given movie category. If you don't like the first category you spin, you are awarded a mulligan, at which point you may spin again. Then you have to settle on whatever category that wheel may land on. Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check the multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one point. Christian, none of our competitors are currently listening to me, but they may want to know this, that you can steal in round two. Well, we've got some old pros here at this point. They, they have they, played, they the, played game the game before. And you've had Jay Washington, which is very smart. Jay Washington, in between the round rules, came out to talk to his players. Smart. Maybe calm them down a little bit. Get them. They're not out of this game by a long shot. They're only down by five points here. And they have a big round. They can come back. We've seen it happen before, and it certainly could happen now. DC Movie News, you guys are in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? <laughs> Trying to decide. Need an I don't answer? even think they know what's going on, Christian. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> first, sir. We're going to go first. All right, Adam, you guys are up. Give it a good spin. Give it a, a protein fueled spin. There it is. There's there the spin that as is, we go that around. That is barely good enough. A good spin. That and is we're merely land acceptable. On comedy. Comedy. Do you guys want to stick with comedy no. or do you want no, to uh, give a big one? You no, want to give a good spin? You're going to spin again. We're going again. Hey, some like it hot. Could be a risk. Comedy. Could be a risk. Christian, they know comic book movies is on the wheel. It's a big risk. Is that what girl or spun? I don't think it's going to get there. Could be comedy again. Crime movies. Crime movies. Prime. Gonna take it. You're going to stick with Prime. All right. They're going to have to stick, stick with Prime. With Prime. All right. Yeah. Here we go, guys. So you guys will get six questions in so the realm of Prom. Spin the wheel. Prom? prom. In the, in the realm of Prom before. movie. Prom. All right, here we go. All right, guys, your first question. Which movie is based on the life of undercover FBI agent Joe Pistone? Five? Multiple, Multiple choice. choice. Oh, it, that was adorable. A, Donnie Brasco. B, Goodfellas. C, Casino. D, Mean Streets. Donnie Brasco. For one point. There you go. All right. Question two. What was the name of George Hamilton's character in The Godfather Part 3? Multiple choice. Is it A, Al Neri? B, Anthony Corleone? C, B.J. Harrison? D, Vincent Mancini? Five, four. Can we repeat the choices? You can once, yeah, you can. A, Al Neri. B, Anthony Corleone. C, B.J. Harrison. D, Vincent Mancini. We'll go with A. Incorrect. It's uh, B.J. Harrison. That's correct for wow. one point. Big steal. Takes what right a back. steal. Five points here. Big steal by, you saw Brienne's eyes lit up when that answer, when that question was asked. She knew it immediately. Why is somebody right. named B.J. Harrison in The Godfather 3? Well, all right, here he we go. He's not Italian. All right, in, sorry, next question. Who played Libby, the woman accused of murdering her husband in the film Double Jeopardy? Ashley Judd. For two points. There you go. All right. All right. Next question here, number four, question four. Who played criminal Charlie Croker in the original 1969 caper film, The Italian Job? Five, four. Multiple choice. A, Donald Sutherland. B, Paul Newman. C, Michael Caine. D, Steve McQueen. Five, four, three. We'll go uh, two. McQueen. One. That's incorrect. Michael Caine. For one point. Oh, two oh, steals. Two steals. Right. Good steal. All right. Stealing all your points. Number five. Number five. Who directed the 2002 erotic thriller Femme Fatale? Five, four, three, two, 
Brian De Palma? Correct for two Whoa. points. Oh my God. Big, I don't think they were sure of that answer. They, they decided yeah. to take a risk. That was it. And finally, in the 2006 film The Departed, The Departed, Jack Nicholson's character Frank Costello was based on what real life Boston criminal? Quiet over there. Who, who he was based Five, on? Yep. Four, three. Whitey Bulger. That's correct. Bulger. Whitey Bulger is correct. Mm -hmm. All right. That's That's so, but it's still, six degrees is still it has enough points here to, unless they get a couple I'll points I'll tell you stolen. this, man. It, 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 it might be a 10-point game right now, but those two steals by six Big. degrees may end up playing huge. Big. If they spin one of the categories they like, like musicals, is actually on the wheel. Will they be singing in the rain? We're about to find out. All right, Brianne, give it a good. You said it before, Come on. Here we go. Give it a good spin. Good spin, Brianne. Wow. Nice spin there, Brianne. Showing Gertler how to do yeah. it. Yeah. All right, here. Here we go. As we're gonna land into trying to avoid. I sorry. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, the, and it looks like uh -oh. musicals is not gonna be it. Is it oh. fantasy sci-fi? Fantasy sci-fi. Do they no, stick we're here? Keep it. <laughs> we're gonna spin again. Keep oh. it. Spin it again. We're gonna Come spin again. On. And there's that spin. Final spin here. I think I had five spins. I don't. Know. <laughs> here we go. No. What are you moving it? That is just she moving can, it, she can, she can move it if you she wants. You can move it. You can do whatever right. you want. Another yeah. huge spin here. Oh. Will it land on musicals? Disney movies is on there. That's what she's hoping for. Here we come. She's hoping for. It's not going to be musicals. It could be Disney. Oh. Oh. Fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy okay. sci-fi. Okay. Always. Always. Okay. We got it. All right. Um, you know that. Always. All right. Six degrees. You have spun the category fantasy sci-fi. You liked it so much, you spun it twice. Your first question. Who played the stranded astronaut in the 2005 science fiction film Zathura? Five. Multiple choice. Is it A, Zach Braff? B, Dax Shepard? C, Tim Robbins, or D, Michael Pena? Okay. Tim Robbins? That is incorrect. For the steal, Dak Shepard. That That's is correct. correct. And this position here of an 11 Oof, point out, lead yeah. right now for DC Movie News. Six degrees, your next question. Mo has an amazing talent to bring character out of their books, but he must try and stop a freed villain from destroying his family in what 2000s fantasy adventure? Five, four, three. Multiple choice. Is it A, City of Ember, B, Enchanted, C, The Page Master, or D, Inkheart? Inkheart? Inkheart. That is correct for one point. There you go. All right. So now they're back. So they avoided the knockout here. All right. Got to change something. Well, that's true. All right, your next question. As of the current date in 2017, how many Planet of the Apes films have been released in theaters? Give them a little extra time here. For, it's a lot of counting. It's a, a lot of counting. Counting. A lot of apes. Six no. degrees will have an additional 15 seconds to answer this question. Talking monkeys. Eight. That is incorrect. Will Steele with and nine. Nine for two points. That is a big for two big. points. Tim Burton. Tim Burton. Two points. I remember the Tim Burton one. On <laughs> two points. So that was a big steal here. All right. All right. All right. Your next question. You have three left. <laughs> Which 1981 fantasy stars Peter McNichol and features a mythical beast named Vermintrax Pejorative? <laughs> we don't know, so we're getting a multiple choice. Is it A, Dragon Slayer, B, Time Bandits, C, Excalibur, or D, Clash of the Titans? Can you repeat the entire question, please? I can. Which Thank 1981 you. fantasy 81? stars Peter McNichol and features a mythical beast named Verminthrax Pejorative? 
and the additional the, multiple the, choice, please. I will note your tone and your <laughs> options are, is it A, Dragon Slayer, B, Time Bandits, <laughs> C, Excalibur, or D, Clash of the Titans? Five, four, three, two, two. one. A. That is correct for one point. All right. The mad guesser does it again. so far out of my ass, you All guys. Right, here we go. In 2007's Transformers, Sam says that Captain Witwicky was one of the first to explore what location? Five, four, three, two. Antarctica. That is incorrect. With that, DC Movie News has the option to steal here. If they get it right because it's two points, they will win by knockout. Mike Kalinowski, you have the steal. Arctic Circle. And your wow. winner by wow. way of knockout, oh, Mike the Killer Kalinowski and the Silent Assassin, Adam Gertler, oh, DC Movie. DC wow. Movie News with a big, big second round there. Yeah. They got the category that they wanted. I think that Six Degrees had a lot of trouble. Yeah. Fantasy sci-fi, those were some tough questions. Wrong. That was really hard yeah. questions. And I'm sure Brienne's going to be talking about it in the in the post-interview. She was. Uh, they fought hard in that first round at a couple categories, but mm -hmm. the second the second round didn't. Got some steals from crime, all right, yeah. but it just didn't work out their way when they spun fantasy sci-fi twice. That's a tough thing to come back from. All right, let's talk to Jen Sturger, who is standing with both DC DC Movie News and Six Degrees. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I'm Jen Sturger here with DC Movie News. Guys, that was incredible. Second round knockout. This is, I think this is your second one, isn't it? Uh, no, this was my first one, oh, though. But I think I'll get a high five because we get some parting gifts for doing that. Look at this. They didn't even break. I mean, they tried to break them. They, 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 they did scar a little bit. That's money character. Maker. You know, it's kind of on the money maker. That's some character, though. It's character building. Ladies like scars, though. Oh, yeah. So, thanks, They're ladies, for these. telling you that lie still. <laughs> so, guys, that was incredible. Were you a little stoked that they hit on fantasy sci fi? Did you, did you know that you had it in the bag when that happened? Yeah, pretty much. There were a couple. They hit that wheel a couple times, uh, you know, and they went back again. And it just, I was just hoping not for musicals for the girls because I know that's a strength of theirs. I know rom coms and comedies are good for them. It played in our favor there. I had a couple good steals in there, and you and I both know we, we kind of... Yeah, you killed that first round, by the way. You joined a very elite group. I, that, didn't, I didn't know that yet. It was... Yes. Uh, it's, uh, I, 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 first I find, round questions and the bonus. Yeah, now that I'm... I feel like I've hit my stride in the singles. Well, not singles, but just being a competitor. That first round's kind of singles. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can't really rely on this guy with his knowledge. So I feel like I'm hitting my stride. I came in strong. We got a great round. We kind of second-guessed ourselves a little on some of our crime movies. We knew the answers. But we went to multiple choice, we wanted to play it safe, but it paid off for us. Right? Absolutely. Gertler, how are you feeling? He feels really good. I really think that's good. good. I think that's good. Absolutely. Right. So now we're going ahead. Now seeing, I mean, who I'm looking forward to, I know now we got the brackets done. Yep. You know, I, I, I really want Nerds Watch. And because yeah. Rachel Cushing is a member of that, not because of any animosity towards her, I want to face her. Not only, this will be with outside of inner geekdom. This will be all movie knowledge. She's still a fantastic competitor. I have the highest respect for both of them. But that's who I want to go against. I think it'll be a fantastic match. Are you nervous about any categories going up against her? I mean, outside yeah. of inner geekdom? Her uh, knowledge I, is pretty She's got diverse. fantastic knowledge. I hope James Bond gets in there, because that's going to be a golden of category for me. Do. That's right. <laughs> well, guys, congratulations on your victory today. Good luck the rest of the tournament, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, six degrees. That was a rough one, guys. Uh, the second round knockout is always a tough blow. Can you come up with something better? Listen, the fact that fantasy sci-fi is on this wheel when there is an inner geekdom category which takes out Star Wars, Star Trek, Lord of the Rings, The Matrix, some things like that, which leaves a bunch of movies nobody really watches. Okay, 2000's Transformers, The Arctic Circle. Ain't nobody paying no goddamn attention to that. But what the attention is going to be paid at is the fact that Christian Harloff and Mark Ellis did not want to give these ladies a fair shot. If you kept looking at them at the desk, they were like, would you want to answer the questions. Mark Ellis getting snotty and shit when he has to repeat a question. I don't repeat even the answers. I'll take note of your tone. Nobody cares. Everybody keeps trying to hold six degrees down. And now we got to have the Sausage King and the Killer Advance. I hope they get their asses smoked like Newports in the next round. <sighs> Brian, do you hey, have to I'm add? just glad that they finally got a win that isn't tainted. So that's nice for them.
So you guys, you guys had a rough round, round two with uh, spinning the same thing twice. Like, what happened? Like, what was the breakdown in that round? The wheel went round and round that way and stopped that bullshit way. That's exactly what happened. Next question. Are we, wait, are you implying the wheel? Next fixed? question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let me let me take this. Here you go. Come here, Stacy. We're gonna take this out the best way possible. Stacy will take out all this aggression on Mark Ellis. Baby carrots will be made to baby paste. Brienne, as you can see, is pissed. And nobody gets more dangerous in this league than Brienne Chandler when she's upset. So I'm putting the league on notice again. Again. I Brienne, are you excited <laughs> about your match coming up with Clark Wool? To be quite honest, I don't give a fuck. So because we've already talked to Clark Wolf about certain things. So whether it's win or lose, don't worry. It'll always be us being glorious. So right about now, Jen Sturger, you are dismissed. All right, I guess this interview's over. Good luck in your singles matches, ladies. Really hope you're back soon. Back to you guys at the desk. Well, as you see, obviously, DC Movie News is very excited to play either the Nerds Watch or to play Above the Line. But the story really is Brianne Chandler. You can see her. She is very upset. She was upset about the first round. She was upset about the second round and, and the, the about the questions. Indeed, I don't think that I'm going to hear the end of this. I don't <laughs> think that you're going to hear the end of this. Um, but but it's also but it also shows the kind of competitor that she is and that Stacey Howard is. They are very competitive. That's so what we like to this. see. We like to yeah. see passion in here. I mean, it's really tough when you spin a category that you don't want to get twice and you have a tough slate of questions like fantasy sci-fi. I know myself some fantasy sci-fi. I could not tell you what the hell vermin thrax pejorative is it sounds like something you learn in english well and as you saw in the interview stacy howard was a little bummed about not going to multiple choice on that particular one but it happens it's part of the game things will happen this is not the end of six degrees by a long shot no. they're a very competitive team we'll see them again but we're also going to see both of them in the singles the singles tournament mm -hmm. brianne chandler will be playing clark wolf and you yeah. will be playing Stacey Howard. How so is that true? That might be some revenge there uh, on her part to try to come after you for some reason. What so, did I do? Uh, you know, it's I just read the questions. It's always our fault. So, guys, I did nothing wrong. Go ahead and comment. What do you think about this performance by DC Movie News? Does it mean are they for real? Are they going to be challenging? Will they have a chance to take on above the line, or will they be playing the Nerds Watch? Go ahead and comment. What do you think of the tour tournament thus far? Who's your pick? Who's going to win it? Go ahead and comment. Keep on liking and check out Josh Makuga with those fantasy stats right now. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Josh McCuga here, joined by the Schmoberwalkies. That's right, we're doing a fantasy update post-DC Movie News. Team Six Degrees in the team tournament. DC Movie News pulling out a nice win. They are quickly becoming kind of a really big deal as far as fantasy goes. They hit a lot of points. They kind of know what they're doing all the time. Mike Kalinowski, really good. Gertler, really good dresser. Brienne and Stacy have a very weird dynamic. They are either heels or their faces are sort of nice. They have hair. I really don't know what team is going to show up from week to week. I really don't, which is tough when it comes to fantasy. If you have them, they are entertaining, and people seem to like them. What I don't know is how many points they're actually going to score. The nice thing about Six Degrees is because they do play a lot, they might be good trade bait. Also, Stacey Howard and Brienne know their stuff. They are mysteriously good at most things when it comes to movie trivia. That's your fantasy update. Thanks to the Schmoberwalkies for joining me in their ever so popular new Schmoberwalkie tour coming to a city near you. See you next time on the Movie Trivia Schmodown.